You know, another thing I was learning today, uh, that we're multidimensional beings. Like there are many dimensions of who we are in this world. And uh, uh, like on the mental level, emotional level, uh, on the spiritual level, on the physical level, um, energetic level. And I noticed that I feel really kind of more in tune with myself when I'm kind of acting in a multi-dimensional way and addressing the issues according to the particular dimension of being that is arising or that I need to address. It's like a, a, like a basic need. Like I read this great article yesterday about boredom it, and it's how to overcome boredom. And, and the guy was saying that one will never become bored when they're, when they, as long as they have needs and they are uh, actively pursuing and those needs or solving those problems uh, and difficulties, there will be no boredom. But boredom comes when one is not responding or responsible uh, for... Um, uh, discerning what those actual needs are, or even if one knows what those needs are, one does not go after them for whatever reason, psychological, emotional, uh, 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 obstacle they're in, uh, boredom can result in that. But as long as one is actively pursuing the issues and solving or trying to solve the problems that are facing them on all these different levels, of our multi-dimensional beingness, uh, emotionally, uh, mentally, and physically, then how can one become bored? <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting like that. And anyway, I, I notice I really feel uh, the most fulfilled when I'm addressing whatever needs to be addressed. And I know at times in my life, and I'm sure people that hear this uh, many of them will be able to relate to this. Sometimes you're totally focused on the spiritual and you neglect the physical and emotional or you're totally focused on the emotional. Just like, for example, and this, I, I was kind of, I do this and I'm sure a lot of us do this same thing. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, so say like, let's take the emotional thing. You can get into psychology and uh, about our emotional state of of being uh, dysfunctional and broken and, and maybe some codependency issues and just totally go into that level and and just kind of just be only there and this is this is and you're trying to solve that problem uh, on that level alone that you neglect your intellectual or mental development discipline maybe uh, you neglect your body and physical needs and health needs uh, or the spiritual dimension also and just totally focused in that one area and so we can do that with any of those areas and I know I've been there I've done that and now I'm doing it like this addressing what needs to be addressed you know usually some intuition comes into play to access uh, what needs to be handled and, uh, you know, so anyway, the world, that's, that's a whole story in itself. <laughs> so I find it quite interesting, uh, this multidimensionalness of our being, and that when we're addressing what needs to be addressed on whatever level is up for us in the moment, and that's a good reason to stay present in the moment, because a lot of this information that wants to be communicated from our own being, our own self, is accessible right there in, in the moment, see, not to be in the future or the past, or sometimes issues of the past are up and we need to deal with those, but that all has to be done and addressed in the present moment. So, actually, I'm kind of quite interested in this uh, being in the present moment lately because it's important as a way to it's kind of like a home base you know the present moment is like a home base that we uh, work from you see so you have to have a home base if your home home base can't be in the future 
because then you're lost in in something that doesn't yet exist and your home base can't be in the past because then you get lost in what was but isn't now but if your home base is in the present moment then you can deal with the future and with the past appropriately and in a way that will be more effective and useful to our lives because sometimes we need to deal with the past and sometimes we need to deal with the future also um, in, in proper planning and, and like this or, or resolving past issues that need to be acknowledged and unrepressed kind of like brought out into the surface maybe through journaling or some other method. So present moment is the home base. So uh, I like that. <laughs> that just came. You know, this is kind of like a journal for the morning. You know, a lot of stuff comes by journaling. Okay, I hope you like this message about how we are multidimensional beings and, and true aliveness and, and no boredom results from addressing everything that we are in this present moment. So live with that message today, everybody. I certainly am. And have a wonderful day till the next broadcast.